Hi, Senior Pastor Chris Ong here from Full Gospel Assembly Melbourne. Uh, we are also suspending or moving online all of our FGA events, whether that is taking place at, F at 38 Lexton or in various homes. Our home groups will be using Zoom and a bunch of uh, other meetings will also go uh, online. Can I just remind all of us that in this season, it is important for us to keep up our regular uh, connection with God. That means if you normally attend church on a Sunday, can I encourage you to jump online at our website, which is uh, www.facebook.com slash FGA Melbourne. Uh, you'll be able to join us for worship and the sermon. You can even comment along uh, as we continue learning about God and as God speaks into our life. We're also moving our giving options online to www.fgam.org.au slash give. This will enable us to continue uh, our worship in giving to the Lord. Uh, if you regularly give, then I want to encourage you to continue doing that because continued pre-committed giving enables kingdom work to continue and churches have an important role to play in society in this time as we're all grappling with what is happening. Uh, if you are able to, could you please jump on to our um, newsletter? This will keep you up to date with everything that is going on. So you can go on www.fgam.org.au slash subscribe and be part of um, our official mailing list. If you need more information about what we're doing, uh, can I direct you to our sermon last Sunday called Wider Hearts, uh, where we're really calling on our church to in this time be an ambassador for Christ. This means that we're all taking this season to care for more than just ourselves. We're checking in on people who are maybe quarantined. We're helping other people um, with uh, basic needs. We're praying for those who are anxious and we're maybe taking extra steps to intentionally connect. Uh, through this period, we ask that you would observe government guidelines for safety and indeed our new updated FGA guidelines, which will be on our website. Uh, but let's continue praying for Australia and let's pray for the whole world as we try to stem the tide of this virus. God bless.